August is still hot, but if you want another round of warm season crops, it's a good time to plant. August is also a key indoor seed starting month. And in today's video, I'll show you the vegetables, herbs, and flowers that you can plant inside and outside in your garden. I'm Angela from Growing in the Garden. My garden's in Mesa, Arizona. I want to help you succeed, even if you're gardening in tough conditions. Before you plant anything, take some time to make a plan. Look at your available space. The big cool season planting window is coming up in late September and October. You want to save room for those plants. I'm gonna tell you your August planting options, but peek ahead to September and October on my calendars and website so you can decide which crops you want to plant. Let's talk about what you can plant in August for a fall harvest. It's an excellent opportunity to get a better crop of some of those warm season crops like tomatoes, peppers, corn, and squash. We also plant those crops in the spring, but often it gets so hot quickly that they burn up and you don't get a good harvest. Planting them now will give you a better harvest in the fall. Tomatoes, starting with fresh plants each season is an excellent way to manage soil borne diseases. These plants haven't been through a long, hot summer. Plant them in a location with plenty of sunlight. You'll need to provide some shade and extra water, but they'll love that extra sun when temperatures start to cool. As temperatures cool in October, those roots will be strong and they will be ready to produce fruit. Have a plan for trellising your tomatoes when you plant them. Tomatillos. Just like tomatoes, their roots will get established quickly in the warm soil. Make sure to plant two for pollination and give them something to climb. Plants grow large. It's time to plant peppers, eggplants, and ground cherries. All of these plants grow best from transplant. It's also time to plant basil, amaranth, sunflowers, and corn. All of these grow well from seed. If you want a head start, plant your amaranth and basil from transplant. August is bean planting time. Not only can you plant heat loving beans like tepary beans and black eyed peas, you can also plant the more tender beans like green beans and pole beans that grow best in warm, not hot weather. If you have Etoy onion bulbs, you can begin planting them this month. If you don't have any yet, track some down. You can plant all through fall. August is a great time for summer and winter squash plantings. Look for short days to harvest varieties and plant from seed or very young transplant. Around the middle of the month, start planting cucumelons and cucumbers. They should grow well and you'll get a nice harvest this fall. Don't save the planting for just outside. Look at everything we can start indoors and get a jump start on fall. If you'd rather plant inside than out, there are a few warm season crops like cucumbers and squash that you can start indoors and plant out next month. If you want to grow onions or leeks, you can start those seeds indoors this month or wait until September and you can order transplants from Dixondale Farms. Look for short day varieties and get them planted this fall. September is my favorite month to plant potatoes, but you have to plan ahead. Either find seed potatoes online, which can be tricky, or buy organic potatoes from the grocery store now and start chitting them so they'll be ready to plant in September. Other options for starting indoors are crops that can take a little while to get started from seed, like asparagus, artichokes, Brussels sprouts, and celery. It's also a good time to start seeds for all the brassicas, things like broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and kohlrabi. You can also start Swiss chard and beet seeds indoors. You can start seeds indoors for greens like spinach, lettuce, and arugula, or you can wait and start these directly in the garden from seed next month. If you want to add chives to your garden, it's a good time to get those seeds started indoors. You can also start seeds for chamomile and parsley. If you're following my planting guides, here's what's possible to harvest during August. Now let's shift our focus to flowers. Unfortunately, other than sunflowers and purslane, there's not a lot that I would recommend planting outside this month. 
However, August is prime seed starting time for flowers indoors. Look at all of those options. That's a big list to choose from. The ones I would choose are the cool season hardy annuals. I've been doing lots of blog posts and videos all about them. These beautiful flowers grow well in the low desert if you plant them at the right time. And now is the right time to get those seeds started indoors. It's hard to find transplants for many of these flowers. Some of the flowers on this list are readily available as transplants. You only need to start them indoors if you want an unusual variety or you need a large amount and want to save some money. Some of these crops also do well planted directly from seed outside, but if you want to get a head start, here are some that you can plant indoors. Here in the low desert, there's always something we can plant, but that also means there's always something that's blooming or that can be harvested. So if you follow my planting guides, here's a look at what could be blooming in August. If you would like to learn more, consider joining Growing in the Garden Academy. I teach a live online course every month about seasonal topics, and members have access to recordings of all past classes. Academy members also receive my garden journal, what I'm planting, harvesting, and doing in my garden, delivered to their inbox every two weeks. I hope to see you there.